is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are diving into the best wwe action figures elite figures specifically besides a couple ultimates you know we got to get the ultimate edition love in the house for this one you know we're almost halfway through the year we're five almost six months in right now we're almost five months in because we're almost at the beginning of june and 2020 has just been shitty but today we're gonna look at the good side of 2020 the best wwe elite figures or ultimate so far in the year of 2020. You know, we've gotten a lot of bangers from Mattel. I tried not to include every single figure because, you know, not every single figure is a great figure, you know? It's not, it can't be the best every single time, you know? Not every figure is the best. That's just ridiculous. It's just like WWE. WWE isn't perfect. They're not going to give you a perfect good storyline every single time. It's impossible. You're not going to bat 1,000. That's why I keep it real here. We cover the great, we cover the bad. But today, we're going to keep an eye on the great. We might mention the bad here one, one, one or two times. But anyways, guys, let's dive in to the best WWE figures of 2020 so far because we still have plenty of great figures to come our way this year but we're at the halfway point just about and I don't think we're going to get any more figures here in the next couple weeks. I think Elite 77 is supposed to be another month away or so so we're diving into the so far right now and let's go ahead and get started. Now starting out I do, I kind of want to start off with these because you know what? These aren't Elites. Brad this is kind of cheating right here but the basic 105 Lars Sullivan and Roman Reigns, I love their head sculpt so much that I went ahead and plugged them in here for like an honorable mention type deal because this Roman Reigns fix up with the ponytail head sculpt and then the Lars Sullivan who I can't stand so I'm not going to be biased all right you're not going to if it's a good figure you're going to hear it from me you know uh, you guys saw my Lacey Evans review I don't like Lacey Evans character on television but her figure is badass so right here we have this Lars Sullivan custom elite that I thought I should throw in and this Roman Reigns fix up with the ponytail head sculpt because those those basics were so damn good I had to include them you could include Matt Riddle in here if you wanted to but we're not talking about basics we're talking about the elites and we're going to dive into this one because this one kind of is uh, a little bit on the fence because this is the Wrestlemania 36 Elite Mick Foley slash Cactus Jack and it had this god awful head sculpt on it. I switched it over for the Cactus Jack head sculpt and now I love this figure and it's such a banger like this figure looks so good and this figure looks yeah. What the hell is even that? Get, get out of the screen. But this Mick Foley figure had to be mentioned. I wanted to bring it up, so I got that figure in there. Moving forward, guys, we have some other WrestleMania 36 figures, and I did not, I think actually, yes, I did. Yes, I did, you dumb jackass. I included all of them. You have the Matt Hardy right here, which is super awesome. I love this figure, and it's kind of shelf-warming. If you go to your Target, probably going to find this figure, and Matt Hardy's not in WWE anymore, so you want to go get that AEW WrestleMania 36 Elite. They're all over the shelves. They're a great figure. I did head swap it, because this fix-up looks freaking fantastic. I love the way this looks, but from the neck down, it's still a solid figure. I think it's great. I love the white part of it. I know it wasn't the high, you know, a high-ranked Matt Hardy in our ranking video of the Hardy Boys figures, but I still wanted to include it. And you also have Kofi Kingston, and you also have probably my favorite one of the set, and that is none other than Booker T. I freaking love this Booker T. I love the white trunks. I love the head sculpt. You get all the interchangeable hands. The WrestleMania 36 figures were a banger, and I know I just threw Cactus Jack across the way. Actually, right here, he's right here. I got, I got the good version. This set, while it's not perfect in its entirety, right out of the package, still a really good set of figures, and I enjoyed them, and I can't wait for them, you know, to come this year. The WrestleMania 37 figures should be baller, and we're getting a Build-A-Figure. I didn't include the Build-A-Figure, because that's the worst figure in that set, and I don't want to talk about it. Let's move on to Elite 75 Mandy Rose. I think this is a pretty damn good figure, and we, we gotta talk about the ladies in this hoe, because the ladies were killing it this year so far, and I have three Elites right here. You have the Royal Rumble Target exclusive Lita. You have the Elite 76 Lacey Evans, which we reviewed yesterday, if you'd like to check it out, right here in the middle. And then we have the Elite 75 Mandy Rose. All three of these are so good. I know that the Lita doesn't have double-jointed knees, but nonetheless, still a bunch of great figures. The paint detail on these dry brush jeans and everything. I always loved Lita. She was one of my favorites growing up. I still love her to this day. She is a fantastic talent. This figure just embodies what she is about, so I think this is super badass. The Lacey Evans figure is the same way. I think it looks just like her in all her accessories and boots and double jointed knees are really fun and then Mandy Rose is getting better every day I actually like her on TV I think she's getting better and better and I like her attire right here I think she's looking pretty damn swell so the women are killing it so far and I'm sure we will get even better figures as this year moves along as we approach wherever the hell we're approaching now if we dive into some network spotlight figures guys I don't have the ricochet or the Kurt Angle which I do want from that set Wendy Richter's in there don't really want the Wendy Richter figure but the network spotlight target exclusive Matt Hardy's also in here I love the dilapidated 
dilapidated boat that you get with the figure had to include that and he's gonna sell his ass away. Now, if we move on, guys, we got to get into the two packs, right? You have the two packs. Now, I don't think that the Finn Balor and AJ Styles one released this year. I'm pretty sure it released last year. So, the two pack that we're going to talk about is the WrestleMania 35 two pack with the Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, and the Samoan Joseph. Both of these are super good. I will say that the chin on this Joe is just a total. What the hell is even that? Yeah, look at that right there. What the hell is even that? Daddy chill. But the head sculpt besides that is damn good. I love the, you know, the mohawk on it. This Mysterio Rey Mysterio figure is so good with all the deco it's got going on. I actually finally said deco correctly instead of deco. Every damn time I make a video talking about deco, I always say, look at the deco. And lo I look like a deke head is what I look like because I'm so dumb. But this figure in all its details is ridiculous. The gold shimmer, you got all this deco, the freaking mask. I mean, this is a piece right here, man. This is a piece. Probably one of my favorite figures in this, in this video and it's definitely going to be on the top figures of the year once it is all said and done and I had to talk about this two pack because it's super damn nice. Moving forward as far as sets go guys these aren't a set but they are a tag team. You have the Money in the Bank Elite 70 Series Santa Claus shit. Elite 76 Heavy Machinery, you have Tucker and Otis. Now, while I'm not a big fan of the Tucker, he did come in fifth place, I think, in the overall ranking of Elite Series 76. I still think it's one of the better figures of the year, meaning, you know, we got the Heavy Machinery in the house, man. It's not the best, but I think when you pair him with Otis right here, they're a great looking tag team. This Otis figure is very nice, and if you missed our review on these two guys from yesterday, definitely go check those out, because I'm a big fan of both of these, and I know that the Tucker gets the, you know, he gets kind of the shit into the stick, but this this Otis is just phenomenal. The articulation on this guy is fantastic. If you guys have not picked this up, you definitely need to. If you see any of the figures in this video that you really want or you want to go check out, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I love the sculpted on knee pads right here that allow for all the articulation. You don't have to worry about hindered articulation because of this. You know, they're not removable, but you get all the articulation you could want. The boots are brand new. I just love the way he feels in the hand. This Otis figure is just super fun to pose around, and I had to include heavy machinery. There was no doubt about it. That's why I actually waited till I got my Elite 76 before even making this video, because there were so many good figures in that set that I wanted to include, including this WrestleMania 35 Elite 76 John Cena replicating where the Doctor of Thugonomics returned to WWE, cut that rap on Elias, and I literally shat my britches at that moment because I was just marking the hell out, but I like all the accessories. You got the Babe Ruth jersey on it. Great looking head sculpt. While I'm not a fan of the hair color, I still think it looks great. I like everything going on with it, and Cena is the goat to me. So if they release a Cena figure, probably going to end up on my football list, if you get what I'm saying. Moving forward, guys, we do have some Elite 75 figures. Now, if we're getting into Elite Series 75, you got to include the Hurricane. You have the Chase variant version, which is right here with the white kick pads. And then we have my fix-up right here, which is actually strapped to this ladder. God dang. You have this little fix-up regular version where I did put Sting boots on it because it kind of looks super fire. I love the way that looks right there. But both of these are so nice. Nice, man. If you're a Hurricane fan, I think you gotta include these. I mean, good lord, man. Look at that green popping off, and then the white version right there, which I like a little bit better, but this fix-up is phenomenal, man. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's a great Hurricane Helms. I think Shane Helms looks great in figure form, especially with Mattel, and I love both versions. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like the Chase variant version or my fix-up version? I mean, I even fixed this up, but which fix-up is better? What do you like? Let me know down in the comment section below. These two are definitely two of the best of the, of the year so far. Moving on forward, guys. Let's keep it going with Elite Series 70, God in heaven. Elite Series 75, Jeff Hardy. I know a lot of people are going to say, MDT, you farted on this figure and you threw it away. Yeah, you know what? I put this figure on the list because you can do so many badass fix-ups with it. I love this figure for that reason. You know, I'm not big on the head sculpt. I think that there's some things about this figure I'm not big on. Just look at his face, man. I don't know what that is. I just don't see Jeff Hardy in it. I think he has much better other head sculpts. It just doesn't look like a young Jeff Hardy to me, in my personal opinion, but I do love the way white shirt that we got, the black pants. I like the sleeves. I like that we got a little purplish going on. I like the body paint going on. But at the end of the day, the reason it made this list for the top figures of the year so far is because of the interchangeability of it, the fix-ups you can do. It's got a necklace on it. I like the white tank top. So many cool things you can do with that Jeff Hardy, so I had to include him. No way I was leaving him off. Now, moving forward with Elite 75, guys, we do have a couple more from Elite 75. We have this Kalisto, which is easily his best Elite so far. I love this Kalisto. I think 
it's super awesome. I think it's a great base for Aaliyah Rush, which doesn't add to anything to do with it. I just think it's great articulation. It's really compact. You can pose him around. He comes with a bunch of accessories. You got interchangeable hands, great head sculpt. I like the attire. I just really love it, man. If you own this figure, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Kalisto's underrated talent. Another Elite 76 figure that we have, actually two of them, guys. You gotta get both of them in here. We have the Elite 76 Christian that did come in at the bottom of our ranking system. And now that I'm thinking about it, man, I think Elite 76 Christian should be above Heavy Machinery's Tucker because I just like this figure more now that I look at it. I like the accessories. I think it's pretty much a perfect figure from head to toe. The only thing that hinders it is the articulation. And I love the sculpt detail we got on these sleeves, on the goblet. It's, it's freaking nice, man. This figure is super nice and then you can't talk about nice elite 76 figures without the blue universal champion braun Strowman with the shirtless mold the beautiful head sculpt and the pissed off anger look this braun Strowman will come in the middle of the night and beat your ass while you sleep the timberlands on there that are a little too long but i'll forgive it 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 will literally mess you up brad so these two had to be included a couple more elite 75 figures not really they're they're the same figure but they are elite 75 seth rollins while i don't have the original head sculpt on it because of different fix-ups and stuff i am working on tracking down another one and I know there's actually a couple on the shelf at my local Walmart which I will be taking note of and going to get rather soon because I want another one of these to make some different fix ups. You have this really sick ass fantasy attire Rollins in the Elite 75 with the orange kick pads and then you just have the regular one and I'm a Rollins guy. You guys know I love Rollins so any Rollins figure that has a good head sculpt and a good attire and it's you know great deco and stuff and they don't make bonehead decisions. It's going to be included in the best figures of the year because it's so clean. I can't wait till we get the top talents with the X-Men vest it's going to be sick. The Top Talents 2020 Elite Rollins. And uh, this Elite 75 Rollins, I think a lot of people would agree with, even though I don't have the head sculpt on there. And then to finish us off, guys, you got to talk about the two Ultimate Editions that we've gotten so far this year. The Ultimate Edition HBK and the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar. And I'll say, I think this Brock Lesnar may be the best figure in this video, give or take. It's close. It's definitely close. I love this figure. This is actually one of my favorite all-time Mattel WWE figures because of how freaking nice it is. I think it is that damn good. I love just the seamless torso right here. How it just, you can't even see where the joints are. It's just hidden. You got double jointed arms. He comes with the title. He comes with a cloth shirt. He's got the interchangeable head sculpt where he's pissed off, where he's straight faced, where he beats your ass in his sleep. Great boots right here. I mean, it's just a great figure. And then Shawn Michaels with his entrance gear and the double jointed arms. Both of these guys are so good. If you don't own them yet, I'm so happy that I own all the Ultimate Editions so far because they're so fun, man. They're just so fun to play around with. Well, I'm not a fan of the torso all the time, I still think they're super fun to pose around, mess around with, and fart in bags and smell it. But if we're getting everything back together right here, guys, these are my top picks for the best WWE Elite Ultimate Best Action Figures of 2020 thus far. If I had any other ones to add to the list, you guys will know about it down in the comments section. If you guys point out any that I left off, I would love to know down below. But I'm getting the hell out of here. That does it for my list. I think we got a new action figure appointment slash surgery coming tomorrow depending on how many things I have to put in that video but I had a ton of fun going through the list making out these lists I know a couple got left off the list I, I feel like every figure that Mattel oh my god what what the hell is even that hold on a second I almost left off one of my favorites of the year the elite 75 Pete Dunn I can't wait for people to comment down below elite 75 Pete Dunn when they didn't watch to the end of the video elite 75 Pete Dunn needs to be on this list god dang boy what are you doing out here? This is definitely on the list. You know what, Brad? You're the king of the rock. Get, get up here. Pete Dunn. One of the best figures of the year so far, no doubt about it. And I love Pete Dunn. I love I love that figure. I think it's fantastic. I'm sorry, Pete Dunn. I, I, I am definitely sorry right there. Pete Dunn, champion. But now I'm getting the hell out of here, guys, now that I fixed that because I knew I left off one. God dang. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, My Damn Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.